what does data cleaning look like when you're thinking about images versus text versus what we're maybe traditionally familiar with? Yeah, so a lot of the same kind of mindsets do translate. Uh, I guess the main difference is now instead of like tabular data, we have columns and stuff like that, you're working with largely unstructured data, but some of the same kind of thought processes and principles fall through, right? So when you're kind of initially going through a data set, let's just restrict ourselves to visual data sets right now, you can still look at information like the distribution of classes, distribution of bounding boxes or segmentation masks across classes and start kind of looking at more detailed information. For example, distribution of bounding box sizes, number of bounding boxes per image. You could even start looking at the kind of spatial distribution of objects and masks in an image itself, kind of aggregated throughout the entire data set. So a lot of the same kind of fundamental things, but now you're just kind of working with more, not necessarily abstract, but just unstructured type of, of data sets. So same type of initial exploration, I would say you can still explore things from that sense. But yeah, like I mentioned, there's other aspects too, for example, image quality, you want to be able to find distribution of, for example, various image quality metrics like contrast and brightness and blur and occlusions, be able to detect whether you have significant occlusions in your image data set, as well as assess labels as well for, for your images. I know I guess your question was really on data cleaning, but I think data cleaning starts with first actually just understanding what is in the data set and mm-hmm. getting a general kind of vibe check of what's in there. And then from there kind of tailoring what you do next based on the problem you're trying to solve.